Hey folks, Joe here. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm camping and I'm very warm, hence the ridiculously looking t-shirt. I'm about seven hours north of where I live. I'm in a brand new spot. I've never been here before and we're going to camp overnight out of a brand new backpack. Hence the reason for this specific video. This is my brand new bushcraft style backpack. This is made by the Hidden Woodsman, Malcolm, and his name is Malcolm. This is called the Dayrock 2.0 Joe Robinette Edition. Malcolm will be selling them on his site, thehiddenwoodsman.com. Let's dive into the backpack and my gear for this trip. Right off the hop, let's take care of everything on the outside of the backpack. So first off, we see a sleeping bag. This thing is, is packed to the nines. This is probably 30 pounds. This is as heavy as I would want to carry it. The only way I would make it heavier is if I had a wool blanket on the bottom as opposed to a down sleeping bag. So this down sleeping bag is a positive one degree Celsius marmot uh, down slash synthetic bag. The synthetic is on the underneath underside of it. I can show you more of this, more detail in the actual trip video, as with everything here. And this is a sea to stomach compression sack, which can actually compress a heck of a lot more, but I like to leave it longer so that the bottom straps can actually loop around and it won't, um, they won't pop out off of it. These bottom straps don't come with the backpack, but Malcolm will sell them uh, as an add-on. I got black on mine and I have black zipper pulls to match the black on Scout's face. So this isn't gonna be the exact backpack that, that will be for sale. It, it's, sorry, it's the exact backpack, it's just that the patch scheme is different. All these patches will be gone and I will have a two inch, this is a three inch uh, scout patch. There'll be a two inch scout patch up here sewn on. And then you'll have all this hook and loop available to put your own patches on. And Malcolm sells awesome patches. These two are from him. This Camp Life in the Wilderness and then his uh, Hidden Woodsman one. I digress. So we got our sleeping bag off. Next, we're gonna get our pouch off. So this pouch is a one off. He won't sell this pouch. This is just something I, I have. But he has other pouches you could buy and add on the side for sure. Or even Maxpedition bottle, uh, water bottle po uh, holders or Condor, anything like that with the Molly will fit and, and uh, accept it. So I'm taking these off for a reason just to show you what the pack looks like without any pouches. I'll go over what's in here in one second. This is an awesome feature an axe sleeve on the side with a generous sleeve. It's not just a band. You don't have to have one at the bottom either because it's so big. It kind of just sits in there. And this will slide down behind this pouch, which kind of adds more stability for it, but again, not necessary. So I have my Ray Mears edition small forest axe. This was a gift from Malcolm because we're working together. He's a really nice guy, he sent me over this. I've never owned this size Gransfors before, and for this to be a Ray Mears edition is just the icing on the cake. The thing's a razor. This is the only cutting tool I brought other than a knife, so we'll be using the crap out of this today. On the other side, I have a military, uh, like a legit, genuine military canteen carrier, canteen pouch. <laughs> Uh, Malcolm actually sells these. So these are military surplus that have never been used, but he, has, he buys them in bulk and sells them. So this is a great addition for this kit, especially when you have a heavy cover canteen. It fits in there perfectly. I don't have any kind of water source inside my backpack at all, uh, like a pot, uh, cup, anything like that. It's all contained on the outside here in my pouch. So first out comes my heavy cover spork, just slides down on the side. Then I've got my full canteen set, right? So now that's empty. That can be flattened down, whatever. You don't need to worry about that. My heavy cover canteen is made of titanium, bomb proof. This thing has like a eighth inch of soot on the bottom of it. I absolutely love this. Fully contained, everything's great about this kit in my opinion. So that's everything off the sides and bottom. I guess I'll take this off again just to show you. So that's your standard pack with no pouches on it. So let's go through my pouch that was on the side. So right off the bat, and I've already used this today, I have my Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. 
I have a signal panel. This is a Hidden Woodsman signal panel, which you can use obviously for signaling, but what I like to use it for is sitting on the ground if it's wet or collecting my wood shavings. This is like, I don't know what it is, 500D, but it's super um, tough, water resistant. Uh, also have my lid for my canteen and an emergency whistle and flashlight, spare flashlight, I mean. Inside of my pouch is nice and bright so I can see. And uh, he'll, he did that on the inside of the backpack too, which, I, which I'll show you now. Okay, I, like I said earlier, have this thing packed out to the nines. This is on purpose, like ridiculously way too much stuff. First thing that comes out is my extra lens. This is a 35 millimeter lens uh, with the f1.8. It's a cheaper, cheaper lens that enables me to get good video and pictures. Next up is an immodest brew <laughs> from Nickelbrook. You know, you gotta have your priorities straight. 9%, so you can see actually, it opens right down. There's a, uh, a mesh pocket here. Next up, I have my food. This is also a Hidden Woodsman uh, tinder bag that I keep my food in. I have enough food in here for two days. Next up, I have my sleeping pad, which is a Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. Next up is my hammock, this super ultra light, um, squishable, packable bug net, uh, webbing, whoopee slings, everything attached. This is meant for lightweight stuff. This is made by Camping King. I know the owner, Bruno, he's out of Quebec. Awesome guy, really helpful. Um, so we'll go through more of that in detail in the video as well. Next up is my tarp. It's supposed to thunderstorm tonight, so I got my 9x9 sill nylon tarp. I've got my grill, so the, now now we're basically done it all, except for I got paracord in, in the bottom of it, just, you know, super neat, nice and neat paracord, that's what you gotta do. Organized, guys, organization. Uh, so now we're at the back. There's nothing else in the pack except for my can cactus candies from my mommy. But now the backpack has this um, pouch, I guess, or sleeve in the back, where I put my sit pad, slides back down in there, and then also my grill slides right in there easy. And we turn it around, we got this zippered front, mesh front on the inside, in the front of it, I mean. I've got my possibles pouch in there. I've got um toiletries pills toilet paper and that's it nope that's not it there's a pouch on the outside there's a pouch on the outside inside that i have gloves i have extra cordage for my tarp and i have two titanium stakes now that's it that's all she wrote now for what I'm never good at, the technical specs of the backpack. So we're looking at molly webbing on both sides. This is 1000D construction with 420D liners. There's a brightly colored inside, as you can see, the orange. There's rot proof thread and the axe sleeve like I showed you. Spot to lash a bedroll at the bottom, the Velcro patch panel the inside mesh pocket, the inside sleeve, and the fabric is highly water resistant. Now Malcolm's a small time business owner. He's an American business. He started from scratch. He works at home, does all this stuff. This is all hand sewn. This isn't a factory. You can't pump out a hundred of these at a time. So what we're going to do, he's going to do a run of 10 at first. And I'm sure that later on there will be another run, but there'll be a run of 10, first come first serve, and uh, all done through Malcolm's site. You guys are probably wondering what kind of food I have and what, what's in my possibles pouch and how the hammock's going to set up and all that stuff. I would love for you to actually check out the full trip video. It's going to be a feature length like normal. It'll be up really soon. I really want you guys to check it out. I'm sure you'll like it. This is a, a rejuvenating kind of trip for me. I'm not chopping down a bunch of wood and building. I'm kind of relaxing and hanging in a hammock and just soaking it all in. There's a really nice river here. and I'm, uh, I'm really loving life right now. So. This is about a 25 liter rucksack and I was able to fit all of my gear for overnight camp plus some way too much gear, extra gear, in it. I didn't have to bring 
this hammock at all. I could have completely skipped this part of it because I have my sleeping pad with me. Um, I could have just slept on the ground with the tarp above, but I wanted to put more stuff in the in the backpack. I wanted to try my hammock. So in reality, this could have got cut out. My beer, I have two beers. My beers could have got cut out. Uh, my extra lens could have got cut out. A bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. I do have my sweater and my prim loft that I wore on the way in. It just got way too hot to wear. Okay, so I have to pack my backpack all up now and hike over to this awesome cedar grove that I found right next to the river. And I'm going to camp there for tonight. Hopefully get that thunderstorm that they keep calling for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, if there's any questions about the backpack itself, maybe direct those towards Malcolm because he has a better understanding of the product seeing as how he is the one who makes it. Uh, it will be for sale through his website like I said thehiddenwoodsman.com check it out there's a ton of stuff on there already some really cool stuff um, yeah and we'll be working together going forward. I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something I hope it was informative I hope you guys have a great day stay tuned for the feature length trip video and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.